What is going on everybody? It is your favorite YouTuber here, G8, aka Fake Glad, and I'm actually posting another video that didn't take me a whole entire year to make after my previous video. So today I'm gonna be showing y'all an amazing website that I personally have been using all the way since D1 to get in the mindset of your trials of Osiris opponent. Okay, I think you could be any team out there as long as you can kind of get a grasp on your opponent, you know, home team advantage every game. So let me show you guys this website. The website is called Destiny Trials Report. And lots of you guys coming from D1 probably know about this website. If you guys are new in D2 and are this dabbling in the PvP field right now because because Trials of Osiris is now in the game and you're trying to see how big your pvp is, well, this, this is the website to do it. So, you enter in the website, and the first thing you see is the most used weapons of the week. So, this week's already over, but these were the most used weapons of the week. But you can see them as the week's going on, too. So, Hard Light and Revoker are the top two weapons used this week. So say you have no clue what is good in PvP, okay? You have absolutely no idea what guns are good. You've never played PvP in your life. Hop on this website, look at the top most used weapons for the week, and see if you have any of those weapons or if you like any of those weapons. And then um, you're already at probably an advantage as these are people who know what is good in PvP. Obviously, there wouldn't be eight million kills with hard light if it wasn't good, you know? So, um, boom. Instantly gives you an idea of what to use in Trials of Osiris. So now, say you're like, damn, I, I kind of like want to know how good I am. I don't really know if I can beat people. You, you select your platform. It's got all the platforms. You look up your gamer tag. This is mine, G8. And you can see your stats and your player's stats. So I have one flawless. I'm top 9% in the world for ELO. ELO is basically, uh, it's like a mysterious, like, so say you beat a team that has a higher ELO than you, your ELO will rise. And if you lose to a bad team with no ELO, it will drop, basically. That's kind of how ELO works. Same with CR from Bungie. I don't really know the exact details of that, but ELO is what most people use. This is how many percent of games I win. Uh, this is kills, assists, divided by deaths, and this is kills divided by deaths. I was on a one win streak, I guess, when I got off. Um, these are the people I'm playing as. So say, you, you're trying to find some good teammates, you get in a message from your boy Alpha, you know, and and you're like, is this Alpha kid worth playing with? So you, you could look him up, say you're a 1.6 like me and this person is only a 0.6 and never been flawless wins 35% of the games, you might be like, damn, maybe I sh could find someone better who's more around my skill level so we can actually get this flawless, you know? Because even though you might not play PvP a lot, you might be better than you actually think. So make sure you know what your stats are so you can get teammates that correspond to your skill level. Um, so this also shows like what kind of medals they have, how they were in Trials of the Nine, Destiny 1. Like these guys never had flawlesses. Um, but it's got tons of little nifty things to show you how your play style is. You can fit to your play style. Uh, but say you actually start hopping in these games. Um, as soon as you hop in, the first thing that you should do is scroll over to the roster to see who you're playing against and look them up. Like say, hopefully this is a gamer tag. Um, shoot, I don't know. I'm trying to think. One of my friends. He just changed his... What's a, what's a gamer tags? I don't know how my friend spells this gamer tag. Gosh darn it. Well, <laughs> hold on, wait. It will pop up. It gives you suggestions. Let's just say, let's just say it's reversing Cray 0 0. Okay? Alright, that's a bad example. He has no stats. Uh, we need someone he's played recently. 
five days ago? No. Trials. God damn it, what's with people not playing? Uh, be active today. Be dragon, I know you played some trials this weekend. You didn't. What the hell? Where's all the. Oh, this guy. This guy's got the flawless emblem. So he's definitely played trials. Can this load? There we go. Okay, so say you're getting into a game and these this is the team you're versing. So you search up this guy using the website and you see he's got four flawlesses, 1.7. You can see another guy's got four flawlesses and a 1.3. And these two guys are obviously trying to carry bullet sponge. So right away, you can call out to your teammates, yo, they're carrying bullet sponge. He's only a 0.4 KD. He's never been flawless. He's not good. We have to worry about BU and Disposal. That way, you can know who your real priorities of the game will be. You kind of know how hard you have to try. Say say you get a team of all point four. You could sit down, relax a bit, tell your team they're not very good. Like, you know, um, and you can get in the right mindset of your opponent when you're about to go and face them. So hopefully uh, this website helped you out for your next week of trials. Um, I'm thinking about uh, running trials with maybe viewers uh, if I start streaming more. Uh, but anyway, I will see all of you in the next video or possibly stream if I get that going soon. Um, and uh wash your hands corona's dangerous at the moment <laughs> and adios